So is this particular machine an O-Unity machine? Yes. As is? Yes, if it runs. It if runs. you can get it to run. Yeah. If you could figure out the exact circuit to what these people have drawn, right. it would do exactly what Lockridge is do, did. Yeah. It's the only thing missing here is this big, long capacitor. Right. But we know about that because it's in the notes. The, the, the guy that made it has written it up. 35 feet is a long, long length. Well, yeah. Yeah, because you need so many microfarads. you got to remember what Lockridge did. He just copied the German machine. Him and his partner took it all apart and documented it and copied it. And then they both went their separate ways. Because this must be what, about 15 feet? Yes, yes. But, you, but you're saying that, that you could engineer around the well, necessity. Today, right, today we could make this easy. Yeah. You know, we could make this have this capacitor made easy because we have copper that's in big sheets and we could stretch that out and we can go get waxed butcher paper and the whole bit. And yeah. We would want to construct it, but the problem is that everybody that Lockridge hired this is going to be one heck of a puzzle because each one of these is barely drawn in electrical terms. Right. It's just a block, A, B, and C. Okay, fine. You know, but what's in that block where A, B, and C goes? And if you look very closely, he's got this marked. That's it. Today I have to go and wind, wind coil B. Yes, exactly. And Millie here will be winding coil A. That's right. And we'll do it every day. And Brother Bob will be building, soldering just this one sheet. Yeah. And, and Rick tonight will be winding it around the casing. And then they'll hand me the whole thing, and they won't ever see it again. Mm -hmm. So there you have it the story of the Lockridge device. Are you planning on releasing those notes, John? No. Yeah. No, I'm not, because I, I won't release anything unless it's a work. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this is essentially a work in progress report. Right, exactly. And something for the historical record. And something to let everybody know that another machine existed out there. And, uh, the very sad part about this was that Lockridge was the town drunk and he was happily married and he did have a house, but his wife uh, was cheating on him the whole time and it was upsetting him. So in the end, what Lockridge did, because it didn't make any difference whether he was making these machines or not. You know, uh, he doused the house with gasoline and lit a match. Wow. And uh, then he turned to himself and they said, and he poured the can of gasoline over the top of his head and lit himself on fire and that was it. Oh my God.